welcome to this little audio show I'm doing. I haven't really done this before, usually I do videos, but right now I'm just going to be doing a video about talking, so I figured why break out the camera when I already have a microphone right here, just start recording. And also I recently made this, uh, you know, cool retro logo uh, based on a tutorial. Uh, uh, logos by Nick was the, the YouTube channel I came across and just recently subscribed to. I made this for fun, I didn't make this for doing videos like this, but I was like, hey, I have this video, might as well, or I have this image, might as well use it and do some audio. I don't know if this is technically considered a podcast. Uh, at what point does something become a podcast? This is audio, but most of you are probably watching it up on YouTube, so technically it's a video without any movement in the video. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess I guess this is considered a podcast. Like, isn't any audio file I post of me talking in a podcast? I don't know much about podcasts. Do I have to get it into a podcast website or app to make it a podcast? I don't know. I'm going to call this a podcast, though. Anyway, today is going to be me complaining, uh, and what we're going to be looking at, uh, my audio looks like it's clipping here a little bit, let me turn this down just a little bit, hello, 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 well maybe too much, no, there, there, okay, test, 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 okay, clipped a little bit there, but that was loud, okay, um, I'm going to be complaining about things, and I'm going to just talk about things that uh, drive me crazy, and um, mainly in, you know, a technical aspect, since my channel is usually about um, you know, computers and stuff. And I'm, I'm not going to dwell on any of these too long. I'm just going to go through the list. I could actually do a video on each one of these. Um, and I, really, if I was to complain about stuff in general, I could probably go on for days on end. But let's just knock out this 10, 10.5 uh, things on my list. Number one, people who call Android phones, all Android phones, droids. <sighs> There, it's, it's an Android operating system. A droid is a specific phone. Model of phone put out, I, was it Samsung? I, I think it was Samsung. Maybe it was Motorola. Motorola droid, I think. It, it's, it's Android phone is not a droid phone. It's not a big deal. It doesn't really matter, but it bothers me. And it's not like talking about like Kleenex, how people call tissues Kleenex, because uh, not everybody does it. It's just a handful of people, which makes it kind of annoying. It's like, don't you realize you're the only ones doing that? Anyway, moving on. Next one. When you receive an email and it says, sent from my iPhone or other device, it's like, uh, and not even just iPhone, I, I, they were probably the original people who started doing this. Why are you advertising for these companies? They don't care about you. No one cares what device you sent it from. It's, a, it's an email. You know, move on. If I ever send you an email and it says, sent from such and such device and I didn't do it as a joke, let me know because something has infected my device. Number three, people who insist that faxes are more secure than emails. Let me get let me let me point this out right away off the bat. Um, emails are not secure in general, uh, but they can be made secure. You can encrypt emails. You can encrypt files. You attach in emails. I'm not saying that emails are the best solution, but faxes are definitely not more secure. First off, usually when you fax to an office, lots of times there's one or two fax machines in the office sitting out in the main area, and when you fax something through, it sits there till someone walks by, looks at it, and sees who it's supposed to go to. Attention, whoever. It's like anybody in that office can see what's on that. There is no security there, and if you want to get you know technical about it, I can buy a fax machine, walk up to the side of any building, and with a, a, a screwdriver or a socket wrench, pop open up there, and sometimes not even that, pop open the, their phone lines, attach my fax machine there. As long as my fax machine is set to pick up faster than your fax machine, the fax is now coming to my machine. There is no security when it comes to faxing. Number four. Vertical videos. I shouldn't have to say more than that, but just do a YouTube search for Glove and Boots vertical video. It is a great video. Number 4.5. Um, the fact that Gloves and Boots hasn't made a video in about a year. That's that's sad. Um, they, they make great videos when they do. Number 5. People who complain about things like Facebook on Facebook. Don't get me wrong. I can criticize Facebook and a lot of things to do. I hate their video player. There's lots of things I don't like about it. But there are people out there who complain like Facebook is the worst thing in the world. And if you have that of you, that's fine. I'm not saying you're wrong. But if you hate Facebook so much, why are you on Facebook posting things about how horrible Facebook is? Okay, number six. 
Uh, people who don't have sound in their YouTube videos, now this isn't, doesn't go for all videos. I mean, if you're just doing something with music in the background, blah, 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 you know, showing something off, that's fine. But it's so annoying how often I search something on YouTube, something that's supposed to be an instructional video, and it starts off, the video is a, a screen of someone's notepad on Windows, and they start typing. Hello, today I'm going to show you how to do this. <laughs> if I wanted to read, I would read an article on it. I wouldn't search YouTube. Use a microphone. It, all computers, as far as I know, have a microphone plug. Okay, well, maybe not all, but most of them. Microphones, you can get them for a dollar at the dollar store. When I was like five years old, maybe a little bit older, six or seven years old, I had my set, a little boom box for playing music. It had a microphone import. I didn't have a microphone. I did have a Game Boy. I noticed that the Game Boy headphone jack was the same size as the microphone jack. I plugged my headphones into the microphone jack on my boom box just to see what would happen. And sure enough, the, micro the headphones worked like a microphone. Speakers and microphones are the same thing. I you have headphones somewhere, you have a microphone somewhere, they're a dollar at the dollar store. I'd rather horrible quality audio than to have to read what you're typing trying to explain something. Number seven, people who complain, or not complain, but tell me that I should be using certain type of software, certain software in videos about doing other software. Let me explain that again. I didn't explain that very well. For example, I have in the past done a video on how to do certain things in GIMP, and I would have a few comments saying you should be using Inkscape or such and such program for this type of work. And I'm not disagreeing that those might be better programs, but this series is on GIMP and how to do stuff in GIMP. That was the point of this series, is using GIMP and accomplishing stuff in GIMP. This wasn't an Inkscape tutorial. I wasn't saying that this is the best option. It's just if you're using GIMP, this is how you do that. And and I get that in, in technical videos too. It's like, oh, you should be using this program rather than that program. Well, it's like, well, no, this tutorial is on this program. It's just very weird that people will complain about that. I get their point, but it's just the wrong place to be complaining about it. Number eight. This is fairly rare, but is annoying sometimes. A websites with articles, but they don't have dates. Uh, usually, if they don't have dates, they're probably some sort of fake news or scam website, but there have been times where I'm reading an article and I find, you know, usually about tech stuff and I'm like, this is interesting. Is this recent or is this from years ago? And I look all over the page and nowhere on the page is a date. It's like, is this applicable now? Applicable now? I don't know. <laughs> Number nine, people who review sellers in product reviews. This happens all the time on, on Amazon. You go, you look at a product. It's got a lot of good reviews and a lot of bad reviews. So you go and look at the bad reviews to see what people are complaining about. And sure enough, there's a ton of people complaining that the seller won't respond to them. The the shipping was slow. Uh, you know, whatever, the, the, the seller won't give them a refund. And although those are legit complaints, there is a place where you're supposed to write reviews for the seller. This product might have 10 different sellers. I don't know who you're talking about. You're giving this product a bad review when the product might be fine. And number 10, people who complain about music in my videos. I like putting music in the back of my videos, but I don't most of the time because every time I do, someone complains no matter how low I make the volume. People complain that it's too loud and distracting, which I can understand. Especially, I know a lot of my viewers, maybe English isn't their first language, and it can be hard enough for them to understand what I'm saying as is, and, and I think it's awesome when people know more than one language. I mean, I don't. I mean, uh, two years of Spanish in high school, and all I can say is, me gusta el queso, que este en mi zapato es y tu. And I get it, but what I don't get is I go to all these other YouTube channels where I watch videos um, like Vsauce or... Um, I don't know, name any of these other videos that I watch, but all of them have music in the background while these people are talking, and people don't complain about it. Yet every time I put just a little bit of quiet music in the background of my video, people complain about it. And sometimes I think putting the music too low makes it more um, distracting than if it was louder, because it's like, it's just, you barely hearing it. So, so I like turning it up a little bit, and I always make sure that you can hear my voice 
fine, but people will still complain about it. Anyway, that was, at least for this week, my top 10, 10.5 things that drive me crazy. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope the audio has recorded okay and uh, I don't have to re-record this. Uh, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. See, I just got really loud right there. I hope that sounds okay. Uh, Chris the K, link in the description. Uh, I hope that you enjoy this. Please visit patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. Uh, become a supporter there. I'll also be posting these audio files there for my Patreons, or patrons on Patreon. Again, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. And I hope that you have a great day.